Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about a powerful new weapon being tested on the battlefield in Ukraine, a German-made attack drone called Virtus, developed by Stark Defense. It's not just any drone, this is a VT All Kamikaze drone packed with AI, precision strike ability, and real combat testing. Let's break it all down. So, what exactly is the Virtus drone? It's a vertical takeoff and landing VTOL drone. This means it doesn't need a runway. It can take off and land from anywhere, even rough terrain near the front line. This drone is designed for loitering attacks, often called kamikaze strikes. That means it can fly around the battlefield, identify a target, and then dive into it, destroying both itself and the target. It flies at a cruising speed of 120 km per H and can dive at up to 250 km per H when striking. Its flight time is around 60 minutes and it carries a 5 kg warhead, enough to destroy vehicles, radars or bunkers. It has a range of up to 100 km, depending on the communication setup. Now here's what makes Virtus different from many other drones. It's packed with AI-based navigation and targeting systems. Even in environments where GPS is jammed, or where electronic warfare is active, Virtus can navigate and find its target. It also uses mesh communication, meaning multiple drones can communicate with each other and with the operator, even in tough conditions. And here's something even more interesting. If the drone doesn't find a suitable target, it can return to base and land safely to be reused later. That's a rare feature for kamikaze drones. So where is it being tested? In Ukraine, through a special program called Test in Ukraine, under the government's Brave One initiative. Stark Defense sent their prototype drone into real battlefield conditions. In one mission, it flew 40 kilometers, supported by an air relay drone to keep the signal strong across the front. The drone is still in the testing phase. Stark Defense says they need at least two more tests before they begin full-scale production. Let's talk about why this matters. VTOL design means it can be launched from forests, trenches, or mobile trucks anywhere on the battlefield. It's resistant to jamming, a major issue in modern warfare. It can be used in swarms. With software called Minerva, one soldier can control multiple drones at once. And most importantly, it's built with 100% European components. That means NATO countries can produce it without relying on the US or China. This is part of a larger trend. Ukraine has become a real-time testing ground for next-gen weapons. Western companies are sending in prototypes, testing them in live combat, and improving them quickly based on feedback. Germany's Stark Defense isn't the only player. Other companies like Helsing in Europe, Baikar in Turkey, and even American firms like Anduril are racing to develop autonomous strike drones. But there's also a concern. With so many drones getting smarter and more independent, how long before they can kill without human approval? Right now, humans still control the trigger, but the line is getting thinner every year. So the Virtus drone is fast, flexible, intelligent, and deadly. It's a sign of how much drone warfare is evolving, where software is as important as hardware. And with real-world tests in Ukraine, we could soon see this drone in mass production, reshaping battlefield tactics across Europe and beyond. If you found this interesting, hit the like button, subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think about AI drones on the battlefield. See you in the next one. Jai Hind.